Psalms 45 to the chief musician Shethunim, which they say it means uh, lilies, for the sons of Korah, Meshiel, a song of love. And this chapter is about the king. My heart is indicting, committed to writing, put into words. My heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the tr of things which I have made touching the king. There he is. My tongue is a pen of a ready writer. So he's going to write about the king. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured upon into thy lips. Therefore God has blessed thee forever. True for the king and the nation of Israel. Gird thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. You see the second advent. And in thy majesty ride prosperously. You see the second advent. Because of truth, Jesus, and meekness and righteousness, all Jesus, thy right hand, I always said the right hand, Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father, shall teach thee terrible things. And terrible things mean things that incite terror. And when you realize what's going to happen to second advent of Jesus Christ, that man, the goats, who have not, not helped the Jews, who re disrespect and hated God and loved the Antichrist, they're wiped away with that sword called the word of God, that fire coming out of his mouth. Thy arrows are sharp in the heart of king's enemies. Death. I wonder if that's where they get Cupid from. Little guy running around shooting arrows in people's heart ain't going to bring love, it's going to bring death. Whereby the people fall under thee. Second Advent. In Joel chapter 2, I believe. Joel 2 or 3 talks about that. Listen, when, that, when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back the second time, he ain't coming back as a baby loving. And he's coming back with, re, 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 uh, with vengeance. He's coming back to lift up the people of Israel. Thy throne. Gabriel told Mary to, the, to a point in that her son, Jesus, is going to sit on the throne of David. Luke chapter 1. Thy throne, O God. There goes the Jehovah Witnesses again. They blew it. Is forever and ever. And the scepter of thy kingdom, and talking about Judah, uh, when uh, Jacob blesses uh, Judah before he dies, the scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Ruin authority. You know, you say you want presidents and all that, go ahead. The only presidents I see is in the, in the Bible is the ones that are in Babylon. I see kings in the word of God. Just pointing the biblical truth out. Thou lovest righteousness, God, Jesus, and hatest wickedness, as God and Jesus. Therefore God, thy God, has anointed thee, Jesus, with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Of all, the Bible says, there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Hebrews talks about there is one that is above the angels. Uh, David says, uh, you know, sit thou at my right hand to I make your enemies a footstool. All thy garments smell of myrrh. That's one that gives they brought Jesus. Aloes, Acacia, out of ivory palaces. Ooh, I guess the animal activist right groups won't like Jesus very much. I think Solomon built ivory palaces or a throne. Whereby they had made thee glad. King's daughters were among the honorable women. Upon thy right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Yeah, 
If the king is Jesus Christ and the church is called the bride of Jesus Christ, guess who that queen is? So the church is not the daughter. The church is the queen, the bride of Jesus. The daughters would be the nation of Israel. Hearken, O daughter, and consider, incline thy ear. Forget also thy own people, all the Jews that have not obeyed and gone against God, and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty. There's beauty in the nation of Israel. For he is thy Lord, and worship thou him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The, king the king's daughter is a glorious within. Her clothing is of wrought gold. You see Proverbs 19, 7 through 10. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. That was the priest and the high priest. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought, shall be brought unto thee. Uh, I remember about being virgins in the Gospel of Matthew. The virgins are not the queen. Remember the virgins shall be brought unto thee. Remember there were ten virgins, five had the oil five didn't have oil and the bridegroom came five couldn't go in five went in there it is right there it's the church uh then who is the queen verse nine i have scripture with scripture the virgin her compares that follow her shall be brought unto thee Follow her, the, the 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 queen, the the king's daughter. Maybe those virgins are the nations that helped Israel during the tribulation. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. There's that. There's the ten virgins. Five of them got to go into glory. Five of them didn't get to go in. We're reading the finished story of the of the ten virgins. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought, and they shall enter the king's palace. Instead of thy fathers shall be thy children. What's the fathers of the nation of Israel? They rebelled. They went against God. The fathers crucified Jesus Christ. The fathers, Jesus said, killed the prophets. Whom thou mayest make princes in all the earth. Nation of Israel, like in the princes, over a throne of the government. And the throne is Jesus Christ. I will make thy name, Jesus, to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. That's Jesus. There he is. 